Hey what's up guys in today's video we are going to talk about how to make responsive designs in Tailwind CSS so in this video we will talk less about theory and more about practical first of all you can see that this is my next CS project and I have opened the page to TSX if your Tailwind CSS is configured on another framework like wheat or maybe you are using a simple HTML project still this video is absolutely for you here you can see that this is the output of my application just a simple heading and a simple paragraph now let's suppose you want to increase uh, the text size of this heading in Tailwind CSS what you will simply do you will add this class like text 5xl and here is your output and now let me show you you this output on all screen devices so you can see that I am changing my screen size but on all screen sizes the text size is same now let's suppose for small devices like mobile devices you want a different text size and for larger devices like tablet desktop devices you want a different text size so how you will achieve that let me show you for in instance you want the same text size for a larger devices but for mobile devices you want a text size of uh, like 2xl okay and so I will simply type here you can see that I have write, write two classes text 2xl which I want for mobile devices and text 5xl which I want for tablet devices so first of all I will simply type here md colon now let me show you okay you can see that we have 5 r uh, 5 rem or uh, 5 xl size and now you can see that on mobile devices or on smaller devices at this breakpoint our screen size is decreasing okay so now what does it means let me explain this the simple class that you will define without any uh, screen indicator will be applied uh, if nothing other class of text will be found then this 2xl will be implemented to all screen sizes but if we have type here md or let me type here sm okay we will also discuss this what is mean by sm and md okay now you can you will see that uh, our screen size will become smaller on uh, on a less screen width okay so now what does it means that uh, on small devices on smaller breakpoint and every uh, screen size that is bigger than this small breakpoint will contain this screen size and le less than this small the text size would be 2xl okay so let me open the tailwind css so i can show you the responsive you can also open this link uh, to reach here so first of all let me teach you about breakpoints so you can see that sm we have md uh, then our screen width would be 768 pixel then we, we will have large uh, the screen size would be 1024 pixel and similarly XL and then similarly 2XL you can also see the screen sizes on which our screen will break now for instance let's just talk about SM you can see that uh, the breakpoint for SM is 640 pixel so now if I open my website here so you can see 640 pixel so it means until we reached 640 pixel you can see that we are still on 635 our text size would be 2xl but once i will reach greater than 640 pixel then uh, this style would be applied okay so similarly let's suppose if you want to break this text uh, not on sm breakpoints or you want to break this text on uh, like larger breakpoints let's suppose or so you can type here lg okay so now you will see that for LG we have breakpoint is uh, 1024 pixel so now what does it means the screen sizes that will be larger than this uh, screen will contain uh, this style and every screen which will be uh, like less than 1024 okay every screen that will be less than that will contain text 2xl okay so now let me show you uh, now you can see that once we reach to 124 and this is the breakpoint on which our font size is changing uh, similarly you can define colors as well let's suppose you found you you want to define more properties to become responsive let's suppose you want a uh, text gray and 200 for normal screen sizes and f uh, for medium screen sizes you want to uh, define the color text indigo or for uh, small screen sizes for larger than small screen uh, small screens you want to define the text color for text uh, gray and oh sorry not gray but indigo 
600 so basically this is a tailwind css color and now you can see that on smallest so, uh, devices our color will be different and on larger devices our color will be different okay so this was the concept in tailwind css that how you make your web page fully responsive so once you understand this now you can apply any properties uh, you understand to make them fully responsive okay let me show you so now let's suppose this have a bg of uh, indigo let's suppose 200 okay let's suppose we define a background color here you can see that and similarly i will define a width for them like 600 pixel you can see that and now simply i will copy this and paste this here and i will type here artificial intelligence and here i will define a background color uh, like gray and 100 okay or let's some choose some uh, beautiful tailwind css colors so i will choose red and orange red and orange you can see that okay now for instance on mobile devices it will be good uh, one thing i want is i will turn this to 9 and to 9 to make these colors darker you can see that okay now for instance you can see that on mobile devices maybe you will see uh, this is look good but for instance if you want them to align in front of each other on larger devices what you will do so we will simply first of all wrap our html in another div like this and i will simply type here flex now you can see that uh, but on smaller uh, screen sizes like larger than smaller screen sizes we will define flex uh, row but normally we will define flex call and now you can see that i just use these two uh, css flexbox properties and similarly uh, width would be for otherwise width would be full okay so i will also control the width for both screen devices like this okay now you will see that once we will reach to our mobile devices uh, they they will become to the top and bottom and once we will reach here you, now you can see that uh, these are come in front of each other okay so next we are going to talk about another important thing if you see the documentation and that thing is targeting a breakpoint range okay currently you can see uh, let me remove every html code so i can explain you very simply suppose we have this div which contain a paragraph and let's suppose we only we are only going to talk about font size so let me type here text base and sm text uh, 3xl okay so now what does it means initially our screen size would be uh, text base but once it will reach our it will reach to our defined breakpoint so now no matter how many big our screen is the same text size would be applied but suppose if you want to limit this suppose if you only want your text 3 excel uh, suppose you, you want between uh, small and medium so now you only want text 3 excel would should only apply uh, once your screen will become greater than small and until you reach this breakpoint you do not want this uh, style to your specific div okay so here we have this option which is which called targeting a breakpoint range okay so you will simply type here like md and uh like we have type here small and then you will type here maximum md okay so let me type here uh small and maximum hyphen md okay now let me show you okay so initially let's go to breakpoints first so it means once we will reach to the greater than 640 pixel screen a uh, 3xl would be applied like 640 now you can see that the text 3xl is applied but once we will exceed this 768 pixel 760 uh you can see that we are going to exceed 768 pixel now again you can see that the text 3 excel is gone so this is how you can define a specific style and for a specific screens okay okay so friends uh this was the video that how you can use uh, tailwind css built-in mechanism to make your site responsive and obviously you can uh 
customize these breakpoints according to your needs you can also customize them but we will we can talk about this on our different video and uh, because Tailwind CSS provide you flexibility to customize and if you also want to define your own breakpoints maybe you want to define a breakpoint of uh, uh, 400 pixel or let's suppose 800 pixel you can also define them using Tailwind uh, your config file uh, but we can talk about on a different video I hope that this video will be helpful for you uh, if you have any question you can uh, ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching